What's up guys, welcome back, it's Hubbard Knight here, Tekken Games Crusader, and finally got my headset replaced. Couldn't get it replaced through Meta, so I had to end up using my Best Buy uh, GPG, or P -P PRP, um, the product replacement plan, and managed to get my hands on the Meta Quest 2 instead of the Oculus Quest 2, and this is the Resident Evil 4 bundle. So, what's different about this other than this instead of the, the circle thing for the Oculus symbol? Uh, still 256 gig of RAM or 256 gig of um, storage, rather. It's uh, 6 gig of RAM. It's uh, LP DDR4. This has the download code inside the box for Resident Evil 4 VR. Code expires the end of next year. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, we got the tab here. And this is kind of basically just going to be my unboxing and first look at the product because I didn't get to do this for my initial Quest 2 because I just posted to Twitter my photos of receiving it and everything and yeah I guess it actually makes sense if I'm going to be a content creator for whatever you want to call it I'm not an influencer I'm not a content creator I am a fax provider and a product tester that's that's what I do that's what I is that's what I am have been for over 22 years now and you can see here the inside the box Meta Quest 2 headset silicone cover for facial interface two Meta Quest 2 touch controllers two AA batteries power adapter glasses spacer charging cable or is an evil 4 download code next level hardware a blazing fast processor and ultra realistic graphics put you in the center of the action Easy setup, open the box, and jump right into VR. No PC, console, wires, or external sensors needed. You can see here it has the double asterisk. So that's to say requires wireless internet access. Smartphone required to run the MetaQuest app. Free download to setup device. Important for ages 13 and up. Backwards compatible. Blast, slash, and spin your way through the MetaQuest content library. Just covering up the barcode stuff. Let's go ahead and open Sesame. So, if you don't recall, the reason I had to get my headset replaced is because the Bobo VR M1 Plus battery strap, the strap design actually uh, broke the connecting arm function on my headset. So it's good to know this is not a sleeve that's going over. It's actually part of the branding on there, so that's cool. And... What it caused it to do is in the process my headset would not stay connected to Wi-Fi and the left lower sensor camera would no longer output anything. So it was causing a big issue for testing games for development. And that was my headset I got for developer purposes, so I kind of needed to have it replaced. And you can see, you got this little protrusion here, just so it has a smooth bumper against the headset. Always really nice packaging from Meta slash Oculus, Facebook, whatever you want to call them. 
have these things back in again. I don't use these because I don't use the stock covers. The funny thing is, um, after I had sent off to, wow, these are already installed. That's different. So in the original Oculus Quest 2 launch bundle that I got October 13th, 2020, the batteries were in a sleeve. And... Claim your download inside. So, I can't show you the back of this because the code is on the back under here as well as on the inside under here. But that way you can see what this looks like. But as I was saying, you know, the batteries for the original weren't already installed and they were Duracell batteries, not this whatever Pro Pack Ultra Alkaline Mercury Cadmium or 0% Mercury and Cadmium. Yeah, they definitely cheaped out on the batteries. So that is definitely different. So it's funny that their cost cutting procedures for the Quest 2 Meta rebrand before the price increase was to take out the batteries that made it very, very, um, you know, recognizable. Usually all of the Quest 2 controllers and Quest controllers came with Duracell batteries. I'll check inside this one just to make sure it's not a one-off. Not a one-off Pro Pack. Ultra Alkaline. <laughs> Definitely different. Alright, so we got our controllers. Wow, that feels a lot cheaper. Oh, that's why. There's paper on the inside of it. That's new. I didn't have paper on the inside of my last one. Wait, that's not paper. That's just... What? Is that paper or not? It doesn't... It doesn't feel like paper. So they changed the material to a cheaper, lighter material on the inside of this. This halo is a lot more fragile. That's one thing I can definitely say is not as good on these controllers. Yeah, I. it's bad that that has a seam on it that makes me think it's paper on the inside of it. But if there's nothing in the instructions about it, I can't really say anything otherwise. Oh, Lord. I remember the time that I had trying to get this thing out before. Yeah, this material is... I don't know how I feel about it. They're coating the entire thing in paper. This is a rubber cover here, silicon cover. It's not silicon, if it's the same kind, no, it's not silicon, that's rubber. Yeah, smelling it, it is rubber. So, I would be uh, careful using this because of latex allergy. Move lenses left or right to find clearest view. This was always the thing I did not enjoy about the Quest 2 over the original Quest. I miss my 71 IPD. 
glasses spacer. All right, anything under here this time? No. Yeah, the packing material was uh, definitely It's comparable to the original, but I will say the strap is definitely the bane of my existence. See, I've never even saw one of the meta versions of the Quest 2 before. This is my first look at the Meta Quest 2, opposed to the Oculus Quest 2. So I have perspective based on what it was to what it is now. What's different, what feels cheaper, like cost-cutting measures, and what seems like... I can say, first off, this is... Okay, I want to show you here. See here. This is separating. And all this holds is your sensors inside of it. Still have the capacitive tap. It's funny that people made a big deal saying, Oh, we discovered that the MetaQuest Pro controllers have capacitive use on them. This one did too. It's just there. See? See? The texture feels different on this one. Like it, it feels circular. You can hear it compared to this one. This one feels like a microfiber, very smooth. But this one feels like uh, one of those lithographic stickers that changes. That's what the finish on that feels like. Uh, I, I really would like to say that, you know, them rebranding to Meta improved something, but honestly, it didn't. We got our block cable. This thing never left the box in mine. But whenever I sent off my MetaQuest headset or my Oculus Quest headset to Meta to try and get replaced or repaired, they didn't send back my fit pack, they didn't send back my prescription lenses, they didn't send back anything. My um glasses spacer for the uh, fit pack any of that stuff all they sent back was literally the headset no strap controllers no battery covers no batteries that's all they sent back so i'm surprised and impressed that best buy actually accepted just that what they sent me back in the box that i gave them that everything that they sent me so but uh yeah guys uh if you're not aware, that's interesting. None of this stuff was installed previously in the original. The only thing that was installed was the strap. But part of the whole rebranding... Oh, get this also. They had a recall on my headset because of the facial interface cover. 
that was included with the original. So they wouldn't even, they had to go through hoops to even have Best Buy get the return to go through to be able to do the warranty because of having that um, recall. The recall was because of the spatial interface material here. People were having breakouts on their faces because of this material. I never encountered such a thing, but I never even used it past the uh, the act the fit pack where it had the wide bracket. I used it for two weeks, and then I got a. Uh, I found one of my old original Quest um, facial interface silicon covers, and I put it over top of the fit pack where it was a little bit wider. And I used it until I started modding heavily on the Quest 2. But yeah, my first head strap for the Quest 2 even was a uh, third party. I never had the, the official head strap. So that's easier to remove on this one. Definitely easier. Where I wear glasses for most of my testing purposes instead of using lenses. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So this is what I use: the KK Cobb VR powered by Nomly K2. This one is uh, testing unit. Here's the one I actually use. Has a better um, PU leather, thicker foam pad on it. And the battery on this one functions. So, here's the other thing. What do I advise doing when you first get a Quest 2? If you are wanting to keep it in the purposes for development testing. So it doesn't turn off all the time. You have a light sensor right here. You cover it. This is just a little piece of foam adhesive. What does this do? With this in there, I don't have to worry about the headset turning off because it doesn't detect a face on it. So it's trying to detect any time it's up against your eyes. This keeps it from turning off. It just always stays on. So where I use a larger battery strap anyways, that's uh, part of the reason that I really like it for development purposes. Be right back. All right, I'm back. So this is why I like this, other than the fact of higher point of reference for your top strap means you have less spatial pressure being further back. So your balance point is offset further. The great thing about this is it snaps in, but it also locks under this. So you can see here, I've showed this multiple times. These will clip in and that's locked in. That's not coming off. How many head straps, or even facial interfaces, do you know of that can do that? It wasn't even clipped in all the way on the bottom. And it, it still stayed. That's why I get this. I love this because of this purpose. This is a mechanical connection keeping this locked in. It intakes air. It doesn't suck air out. And these are from... Zyber gears. What are these? These are blue light uh, filtered lenses. You can take out the lenses, put whatever lenses you want into this, and these are just slide over silicon frames for 
any lens that fits this size of the Quest 2. Now these come as a kit for $18. You got right side. The other reason I like these is they don't just pop off like magnets do. They slide on. They're snug. They're covering. And you're protecting your glasses as well, if you wear glasses, because of the silicon frame here. Your lenses are protected on your headset, and then your glasses lenses are protected as well. I've never had these fog up on me or get in condensation underneath this silicon layer because silicone is a, a fitting performance and this is by bonkers 20,000 milliamp per hour combined KK Cobb VR Q2 Pro powered by Nonly with their KK Cobb VR powered by Nonly P2 which is a 10,000 milliamp per hour swappable battery. The reason I like this over what Bobo VR tried to do is one, this design doesn't break your headset. It's easy to apply, but it's also firm to hold. Two, battery. Holds a lot better. These are 255 gauss magnets on here. You have dual pogo pins on one side. And three, this creates a counterbalance. Goes into this little shelving right here. So if you want to plug something into it, It's not going to slide out. This is the Rebuff Reality VR Power 2 10,000 milliamp per hour battery. This and this being the same capacity, but look at the size difference. That's just crazy. So. I'm using extra cables on this. This TPU material is a lot more flexible and easier to deal with. The only thing I'm not a fan of, and I know it's just the circuitry that is available, battery. You can see there's a little bit of a delay from the time you press it until the time it activates. And also till the time that it deactivates. Unlike the VR Power 2, instantly off about half a second to turn on this is almost two seconds in the same regards this normally costs seventy dollars these normally cost fifty currently they're on sale on amazon for forty dollars because of black friday and the holidays so normally this head strap is uh eighty dollars with this p2 battery Right now it's 60 so they have a deal for $98. You can get head strap with two batteries for under $100. And if you like having battery straps for extra long play, this is definitely the way to go. Not to mention, best part, the only thing that can make this better is if this IR sensor, which goes 30 to 40 at single, or 40 to 50 at secondary press, third press just turns it off. If this had a battery built into it, and they have one of these also over here for both sides, 
so that you don't have any uh, provisions of parity for viewing in the dark. Then, like, that would be the ultimate head strap for playing in the dark. And if this one over here had its own battery, or just like this, where you plug it in. So this is plug into power only. There's no battery to it. It doesn't pull power away from the headset like the i2, which is their small plug-in version. But, I mean, this battery strap does not have data pull through on it. None currently do. So, you could use this with the AirLink and wirelessly have, with this two 10,000 milliamp per hour battery situation, over 15 hours of battery. Or, if you just wanted to use the single and then swap it out, you got the headset that gives you about 3 hours, 15 minutes of battery, 3 hours, 25, uh, 3 hours, 45 at most that I've seen. And then this will add an extra 7 hours to 7.5 hours of battery, up to 8, pending on full charge. You just swap it. So, what's the point of pull on this? Right there. It's trying to pull it in. My hand is underneath the clip on it. So if I move my hand under it instead of over top, it goes a lot faster. I do like how this has the interior size for the adjustment, like the MetaQuest Pro 2, or MetaQuest Pro rather, I do not like where I have to use it at the largest size, that you can see a little bit of the gear shaft strap, but as it is, this is currently the best battery strap on the market. Here's the reason I like this way. One, you see it clips over the edge. You just clip it over the edge. And you can slide it when you get it on. So clip over the edge. It's a brand new headset so I'm trying to not bend things or we'll do the other side the other way which is it's hard to do this going through the viewfinder on the phone so you can see just slide it back and it's mechanically connected right here. Got this one on, just slide it back. It's not a lot of effort. But let me go ahead and attach top strap here so that I don't have the batteries flopping around. easy to index. It's not coming off. It's not even loosening. It's on. And you can use headphones over top of it without any pressure on the sides. Or if you wanted to use something like the VR ears, where you clip on, you can just clip it on, tighten it down, 
You're good to go. All of this extra stuff, this is from the VR Power 2. This is what comes on this battery strap. So, why do I have two batteries on here? Just because if you wanted to show multiple, multiple things connected to the headset, you can have everything charging. This one I could put over here for another IR sensor. This one I can plug in the fan. And that's low on the fan. Secondary is intermittent, so that would be less airflow. Some people would prefer it to just be low and high, but this works for me. I mean, I primarily do development for VR and conversion of Android apps in addition to fitness for VR. That's about all I do with it. So let's go ahead, put this on, see how everything fits, adjust it down, so this top strap. Oh yeah, the top strap here. If you're not married to having a cushion on the inside, you can just take it off. And just have your strap, a wider strap. So you have a lot of versatility to being able to use this head strap. Cranking it down as tight as it'll go. And you can hear the cables knocking against the side of the headset but you don't hear my nose getting smacked against the front interface because it doesn't it's very good counterbalance having both of these on here just to make it easier for you guys to see we got viper here this is the same size as my head i had this mold created and it's just a uh, vacuum form mold that they measured my head to be able to see, show you guys easier how things fit. So I don't have to pull a camera out and everything around my head. So, space from the largest size. I can put more pressure on it on Viper than I can on my own head as well. Oh gosh! But you can see cuffs well. Gear is holding. It's not breaking the gear. Ooh. See, I over tightened that way more than I normally would just to show you all
All right, so. Show you guys how it looks. Crank it down. Upside down, it's holding. You can crank it down more, but I don't want to dent his nose in or anything else again. So I wear glasses, so this part doesn't work for me. But you have a limited amount of being able to angle it up so you can see under it. I'll see if I can get it to angle up on my face, but I'll have to take off my glasses so that means I'm blind as a bat. And you know, bear with me guys. So give me a moment here. The hinge. Hopefully you can see that. I can see under it, but it's mainly using the, uh, connecting arms. Put my glasses back on. On my face. See, what it's doing is it's pivoting the connecting arms. Like this is what it was doing for me. I, I don't do pivot very often or very well because of that. But all it would take literally to not have that be an issue is a locking pin or a lever clip right across here. That can be able to hold one position or another. So you could have a thing that spins here. Or a little button on here that'll lock it up. Press it again to lock it down. Wouldn't be very difficult. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, just wanted to show you my unboxing first look at the... Meta Quest 2 256 gig Resident Evil bundle. And uh, if you like this content, feel free to give a thumbs up. If you want to know when I have new content going live, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, always feel free to leave a comment. I do check comments every single day, respond to questions once a day. And, well, unless I'm bedridden and can't do anything else to where I can't even keep my eyes open but other than that yeah I, I check every day um do you want to know what I have coming in for future content seriously following me on twitter at zybernight and uh also hive if you do that or game dev dot place on mastodon So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, Zara Knight, Tekken Games Crusader. Hope you guys have a good night, good day, take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.